Now to a developing story out of Nashville. The accused gunman who shot and killed four people at a Waffle House restaurant is behind bars now tonight, charged with four counts of murder. 29-year-old Travis Reinking was arrested earlier today after spending 34 hours on the run. He was taken to jail after being questioned by police. Investigators say he's refusing to answer questions. Police officers did find Ryan King in a wooded area less than a mile from the crime scene after getting a tip from a construction worker. Ryan King was arrested without a problem, but he was carrying a weapon. And in a new interview tonight, the man credited with preventing more bloodshed described how he disarmed the Waffle House gunman, and he still insists he's not a hero. So I ran through the door as fast as I could, and I, uh, and I hit him with the door. And that kind of made him a little woozy. And then he kind of uh, let go of the gun. And then uh, we was tussling for the gun, kind of wrestling for it. And he had it in one hand. And then that's when I, I took it from him. 29-year-old Shaw was grazed by a bullet. His hand also burned when he grabbed the barrel of that gun. He started a GoFundMe page to help the injured and families of those killed in that attack. His goal, $15,000. At last check, it was more than $53,000. All four of the people who died in the Waffle House were in their 20s. De'Ebony Groves was 21. She was a student at Belmont University. She worked two jobs and was set to graduate in two weeks. Joe Perez, 20. He just spoken to his mother a few hours before that shooting and was planning to pick her up at the airport Wednesday. And then 23-year-old Aquila Da Silva was a musician. He was with his girlfriend and brother on the night of that shooting. Torian Sanderlin was on a break from his job as a cook and he was 29 years old.